My name is Isaiah Swan, and I play for the Autism Army. Um, I am here because, this, well actually this will be my third or fourth time playing in, there, in ATBT. Uh, but this particular time um, is special because uh, I have a son who has autism and I will be playing for him. I'm uh, Billy Garrett. I'm playing, I'm playing for SCD Hoops, uh, short for Sickle Cell Disease Hoops, and I'm playing for this team uh, because I have Sickle Cell Disease myself. So uh, Sickle Cell Disease is a, is a blood disease that um, alters your uh, red blood cells in your body. Um, and it's different forms of it. You have SC, you have SS, which is the more severe form. Um, and for me, it's, it's been it's been uh, it's been a blessing to be able to play the sport altogether. If you think about this, most of the kids that you see that have autism, you hear about the, 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 like the little ones, little kids. You don't think about the older kid. Um, although my son is like I said, he's three. Um, Delroy, his son is older, you know, and they kind of I'm not gonna say get pushed to the wayside, but people don't put the time and the effort into the, those kids as they should, you know what I mean? Because although they might not seem like they understand or they do their own thing, they know what's going on. Yeah, I just want them to know that sickle cell disease exists and it's something that's real, very real, and that affects a lot of uh, people out there in the world. And, and the sickle cell disease community being a part of it myself, I understand how lack of knowledge um, can be kind of frustrating, especially when you're dealing with the disease and you're going through the hardships that it uh, presents. Um, when you're going to hospitals and people don't really know, the doctors do, but people don't really know what you're dealing with. Um, so it, hopefully it can spark a conversation. I play basketball, been playing basketball my whole life. Um, this autism thing is new to me. You know, it's new to my wife and it's new to, to people around us. And uh, this is just another, like I said, another avenue for them to you know, kind of understand uh, what we go through every day. When I was younger, um, I would run into a sickle cell crisis, and the crisis is what I was explaining prior is um, when the blood cells clog in your veins and cause the pain. Um, so when I, mean, I was in college, high school especially, dealing with the conditioning and, and trying to be one of the guys and not be different, my pride kind of got in the way and it caused me a lot of pain and a lot of hospital visits, honestly. So. Uh, you know, I, I learned what my body could take and what it couldn't take. And over time, I got stronger and just got in better shape. Um, and it, I had to change my lifestyle. Just the way I eat, uh, my rest, my hydration, my routine, my schedule. Um, in order to do this, I had to be able to really, really uh, lock in on the way that I was living and, and make this the uh, priority in my, in my life, so. I love being a dad. I love being a dad of a kid who has autism. I, I, I love it, uh, and I wouldn't change it for the world. When you're playing for a cause, for me, it makes it bigger than myself. Um, it's basketball at the end of the day, but it's also a much larger impact. And um, knowing that we have the ability to impact people through what we're doing, there's no greater contribution to, you know, mankind, if you would. Like, there's nothing greater you can do than to, uh, rather than inspire yourself. So. Um, when you got that in your mind, it makes the basketball seem minor, but um, and it allows you to go out there and put everything on the line because it's, it's not about you.